Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the GFS, the GM, the ECMWF, the GFS and ECMWF ensembles and we'll finish up having a look at the UK Met Office precipitation and temperature. And that's going to be quite unsettled over the next couple of weeks. It's not going to be mild the whole time but we'll be seeing mild at times but we'll also be seeing some cold weather. We see polar maritime air mass in from the north and the northwest, potentially some even in the next couple of days and then maybe even after that, we could be seeing some more sustained polar mar maritime air mass all the way into early February. And there could be some wintriness with that, especially over northern hills and even to low-lying areas if we do see these air masses stay around for a period of time. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure to like and subscribe. And remember to follow on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. Now, if we do have a look at the latest from the GFS, you can see high pressure is slipping to our south, and we do now have more of a westerly flow pushing in. You can see quite tight isobars for Friday evening into Saturday um, morning. It could be very strong westerly wind, and in the north, it could be quite stormy um, with real tight isobars. Wind coming in from the north, quite a bit convective, and maybe even wintry showers, as there is cold air packing in behind that. Now, beyond that, we do start to see high pressure try and push back in once again. But we do um, we do start to see low pressure push it away. And you can see, as we head out to day 7, this is where we start to see a real polar maritime air mass pushing from the north. And you have a look at the 800 THPA temperatures. Really quite cold, minus 5 line. Even colder than that pushing in at times. Before we do see a bit of a milder sector. Before we see, once again, another cold sector push through. Looking really cold as we end the run. Now, if we go right to the end of the run at 384 hours, you can see that we are pretty chilly. Low pressure to our north, spiralling in showers, especially in that cold air mass. You can see all these purple shifted to our side of the pole, really unsettled conditions. Now, if I have a look at the northern hemisphere, you can see where all that blocking is, pushing all these blues and purples towards the UK. And if we did start to see this blocking establish itself towards northern Canada, maybe even Greenland, then we could be seeing something more sustained in terms of cold weather. But at this stage, we're just seeing this uh, blocking over the North Pole push all of that cold tropospheric polar vortex towards the UK, bringing quite unsettled, stormy, and potentially quite chilly conditions at times. Not looking like absolute whiteout conditions by any means, but there is going to be some heavier snow at times over the next couple of weeks, especially, as I said, over higher ground in the north and west. But not exclusively, especially we do see these air masses, as we saw with the GFS, hang around for a good few days. We could be seeing snow even to low-lying areas, maybe even in the south, um, as we do have uh, we are in the coldest period of the year, really. So if we do see the sustained uh, cold air masses, we can go really quite cold, um, even in the south. Um, and again, I keep saying when if we see these northwesterly winds bring back to January 2019, end of January 2019, start of February, where we saw real cold northwesterly winds for a good few days. And it did allow snow to fall even to low-lying areas in the south. We saw a decent snow event there. So it is possible if we do see this northwesterly wind. Um, but it is going to be on and off. You can see there are milder sectors pushing through at times, which will maybe bring some snow to higher grounds. But for low-lying areas, predominantly be rain. Now, if we do have a look at the GM run, you can see it is pretty consistent with the GFS run, bringing in cold air at times. You can see westerly winds real strong toward the weekend. For Saturday, another little low-pressure system pushed through. And then we start to see that cold polar maritime air mass moving from the northwest. Again, if you have a look at the entry of THP temperatures, getting well below minus 5, even down to minus 10, potentially across the north. And then seeing more small little low-pressure systems push through with some colder air. Now, you can see... We're generally again seeing a northwesterly flow, mild sector within it, of course. And again, if we have a look at blocking, you see that big block over the northern hemisphere, which is pushing all these low pressure systems further southwards. Not the same as the GFS, similar outcome, but not the same in terms of blocking. So I have to keep an eye really what happens with this block, because if again, if it does transition towards northern Canada, Greenland, even just slightly, it can tip things maybe a bit more sustained in terms of colder conditions, pushing that jet stream even a little bit further southwards, um, which could, of course, bring colder weather. But it's looking pretty chilly and very unsettled over the next couple of weeks. And that continues with the ECM WF. Now, for some reason, the ECM WF is not updating at Western Central. I think it's because they're upgrading it, as I'm seeing a lot more, um, a lot more sort of options within, within the model. But 
not the data, the data isn't fully um, loading. So I think they are just doing some maintenance on that and upgrading it. So hopefully that is up and running over the next couple of days. But if we do have a look at the um, Meteo Seal, again, you can see low pressure pushing through over the next couple of days and the next week mainly the north for all areas and you can see that cold air mass coming in from the northwest continuing right towards 240 hours and again, if we have a look at the area of phba temperatures anything in the blue is below freezing and the darker blues are getting colder and you can see as we head towards the last couple of days of january and start of um, february you can see that cold air mass spreads in and doesn't really disappear for a few days and that's where we can see those sustained cold spells um, colder air even in the south for a good few days getting a few overnight frost getting those surface temperatures down that's where we could see even some wintriness to lower levels again it's all if and buts if we do see that cold air hang around um, and then see a little channel low develop something like that so there is routes to colder scenario where there's no not guaranteed by any means but the models have definitely trended colder today uh, in terms of more north to northwest sleep flows of obviously enhancing that blocking uh, the models um, over the North Pole, pushing that jet stream a bit further southwards. Now, this is well reflected on the ensembles. So if we first have a look at the ECWF ensembles, if we do go out to day seven, it's actually generally north to northwesterly winds with high pressure out the middle Atlantic, not extending into the Arctic. So not seeing massive northern blocking, but a big mid Atlantic ridge bringing that wind in from the north or northwest. If we move out to day 10, you can see all the models having a bit of a northerly flow pushing in. Once again, more polar maritime air mass. Again, 21, including the operational one, have more of a sharp northerly wind. Another 17 have a bit more of a slack flow, meaning Probably a bit more of a westerly theme, so maybe not quite as cold further southwards. Another 13, including the control run, have again a very cold northwesterly flow. Maybe not quite as sharp as the operational runs ensembles, but nevertheless, still pulling in cold air. Now, if we go all the way to 300 hours, you see all of them are showing a bit more of a high pressure. Um, build 18 of high pressure building back over the top of the UK, another 17 of extending towards Scandinavia, a bit of an easterly wind there, but it li looks likely to be a toppler. Another 12 of a flat westerly, still quite chilly coming in off the North Atlantic in from Northern Canada and Greenland. Another four have bitterly cold air coming in from the east with a bit of a Scandinavian high building in easterly winds. And if we go all the way to 360 hours again, you can see 18 have high pressure over the top and just to the south of the UK. Again, a westerly flow in the north, but pretty dry conditions in the south another 17 have um low pressure to the north high pressure to the south real mild westerly flow um especially in the south but further northwards we could be seeing some cold air mix that will be one of those with a big temperature contrast in the north atlantic another 12 have a westerly flow another four have a very blocked pattern um not uh, not got a lot of support but is, is an option in the long term big blocked pattern again that would be pretty chilly probably with the winds coming in from the east now we see the temperature for profile really well reflected on the GFS ensembles. And now you can see over the next couple of days, temperatures are above average, but then they will drop below average as we reach the last couple of days of January. Now we're seeing a bit more of a potent um, northerly flow there a few days ago. And that's why I'm a bit skeptical perhaps of this northerly flow we're seeing, or northwesterly flow we're seeing around the 4th to the 7th of February, because it could very much upgrade, uh, sort of downgrade to milder. Um, upper air conditions so you can see we will see a cold air mass through the 31st of january into the first but it will be quite temporary and then we see another milder sector precipitation returning for all but will be heavier in the north and then slowly those temperatures drop down and then around the 4th to around the 8th of february looking like a pretty sustained cold spell with upper air temperatures in around minus five especially in the south and could be colder than that in the north before temperatures just return to averages certainty really does decrease some stay really cold probably quite blocked uh, and chilly others are remaining a little bit milder so definitely does look like there'll be some wintriness especially over the northwest perhaps even to the south and you can see some wintry spikes there from around the 4th to the 6th of february showing the potential of a few wintry showers i wouldn't say anything too sustained at this stage again if we saw a little channel low develop we could be looking at sustained snowfall but very much would be just looking at um maybe some wintry showers and again if you look at the two meter temperatures you can see colder days highs of four or five degrees again probably a couple degrees lower than that maybe two three four degrees again gfs does sometimes overdo the colder um or just bump up the temperatures especially when we have colder air masses a little bit as we will be seeing some frosts as well with those colder air masses so on those colder days with the cold maritime air mass maybe four degrees highs and around freezing for lows so if we do see that cold air hang around for long enough 
it could drop those temperatures down to maybe two or three degrees highs and then we could start be seeing some snowfall even in the south but on the milder days it'll be eight to ten degrees um so quite mild indeed and if we do have a look at glasgow much further northwards and i'm expecting this to be pretty wintry indeed now if we do have a look at glasgow you can see two meter temperatures are quite up and down but some days only around two or three degrees other days seven eight degrees on two on those days with two or three degrees will be snowfall coming out of the sky and you can see quite a lot of precipitation falling in snow around the 31st of january for a day or so and then for a few days in around the 3rd to the 5th of february and beyond that quite a few precipitation spikes again dew points you can see in around freezing when we have those cold air masses but well above freezing so there could be some real marginal snow events coming up um, or f uh, front edge uh, weather fronts producing snow back edge snow snow events not looking like sustained cold weather here with a lot of transitioning air masses we could see seeing some very messy situations coming up um, with some snow warnings not delivering some areas having rain warnings or having no warnings at all and seeing snow it could be one of these scenarios over the next few weeks so it's very much you just got to keep an eye on the models very subtle shifts in these weather patterns can create massive differences as we saw by the the gfs run that minus five line is a bit further southwards could be falling as snow a bit further northwards uh, not as progressive falling as rain so very very big differences can be um seen at the surface from very small shifts in the pressure patterns so even though it does look quite cold chilly and unsettled we won't know the sort of surface conditions really that well until we're only a few days out um, but this stage is looking pretty cold on some days mild on other days rain wind and snow over high ground will be plentiful now if we do finish up have a look at the UK metal for have a look at the five day precipitation temperature. Um, and you can see generally um, things are looking things are looking not too bad actually. Not too much precipitation around at the moment. Will be some precipitation pushing through tomorrow in the north as we have that stormier weather potentially pushing in. Again, more precipitation pushing in, um, especially further northwards, but not too much further southwards. But for Saturday morning, maybe seeing some precipitation push southwards, and then some wintry showers in the north as well. Not looking too bad. And then we see a real vigorous low pressure system move through Sunday. That's going to have to keep an eye on that. Snow over higher ground, but predominantly to lower levels, rain uh, before wintry showers pushing back in behind that as we do progress through uh, some showers maybe further southwards so rain returning for all over the next week or two heaviest in the north probably light and patchy further southwards with just generally thicker cloud and there could be some snow especially over higher ground couldn't rule out to low-lying areas at this stage but it's not looking like prime conditions for low-lying areas you can see by that very much over the higher ground now if you have a look at the max temperatures it's going to be quite up and down now you can see this afternoon Around 9, 10, 11 degrees, so not too cold indeed. And as we head through tonight, temperature is not going to drop down too low. Um, maybe only getting down um, to sort of 3, 4, 5 degrees. And by sort of Friday in the afternoon, temperature is back up to around 7 or 8 degrees. So around average, really. As we head through to Friday evening, we can start to see temperatures still quite mild, actually, 9, 10 degrees. So maybe even up on the daytime highs as we do have a milder sector pushing through. Now, of course, once that moves through, colder air will be pushing through. Um, but we could see in the south, 12 or 13 degrees on Saturday. We're in the north, hovering just above freezing. Saturday night, cold air is going to be spreading southwards. And we could be seeing a widespread frost, especially waking up on Sunday, especially across northern areas, but not exclusively. Could be southern areas as well at times. And then through Sunday afternoon, chilly day, 6, 7 degrees, um, and freezing in the north. And you can see that wedge of milder air and then out just to the north of Ireland. And that's that low pressure system spinning up, snow over higher ground, um, milder in the surf, uh, towards southern areas. And we could be seeing another frost early hours of Monday, Monday afternoon, 6 or 7 degrees, so below average once again. And through Monday evening to Tuesday, once again, we could be seeing another chilly morning for some. But then Tuesday doesn't look too bad, 9 or 10 degrees. So quite a lot of up and, up, quite a lot of up and down over the next few days. Some days will be cold, some mornings will be really cold, but other days will be quite, quite mild. And mornings will be quite mild as well. So it's very much going to be checking the forecast before you go out. It is going to be cold some of these days. It's going to be mild. Um, again, uh, a lot of up and down conditions. And that's what we normally get with these sort of west to northwesterly themes with milder sectors and colder sectors. So very much need to keep an eye on what's happening. Could be some significant snow for some over the next week or two. 
Um, others could just see rain. Uh, and we, again, we'll have to keep an eye really on what happens. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.